Hi guys, today I'm here for um, the latest review of Waterloo Road, episode 14, and um, the plot line is pretty basic. Jez, the school PE teacher, is trying to uh, do a football, I'm sorry, not football, you British people call it rugby, a rugby match um, with um, a rival school and the head teacher Michael Breen has once again put pressure on Jez to succeed mostly because he still carries a torch for Sean uh, and there are problems in terms of trying to keep the whole team together. The other secondary plot line involves Ronan and his girlfriend Vicky. Vicky's trying to study hard for her exams, and Ronan is, as usual, being enterprising and trying to um, gain money to pay for their month's rent on their apartment. Another key fact in uh, the relationship between those two is that Jez's daughter has come in and interfered with the love life of Ronan and Vicky and is kind of playing the other woman. So basically what ends up happening is Ronan and Vicky get into a fight um, and Vicky ends up hitting Ron Ronan several times because she thinks he's being stupid and naive to the fact that Jez's daughter is in love with him. So after she like tries to beat him up she walks into a storage closet or something or a door something of that nature and she gets a bruise on her eye this causes suspicion that she's being physically abused by her boyfriend the school turns against Ronan and there are problems with that overall I thought this episode had a lot more going for it in terms of story it didn't seem too unbelievable it seemed to be grounded in reality, something that would happen within the confines of a school, and this is the first episode where I thought I would actually be enjoying Waterloo Road. There were, the side plot line with Jez being pressured to succeed in the, uh, in the school's first rugby match was interesting, and I didn't really know the outcome of uh, the rugby match was going to be that Waterloo Road won, but I was happy when they did, despite the fact that Jez, the PE teacher and coach of the rugby team, clearly cheated. I think that what works about this show is that you have these student characters who have difficult and challenging home lives, and each week we get to explore a little bit more of why these kids, you know, need the help and support of the teachers. I think um, that shows in America rarely ever cover that angle of the children needing help. Most of the time, it's just how overwhelmed the teachers are with their jobs, which I'm not saying teachers aren't overwhelmed. I'm just saying that the students, in actuality, their, their life and time in school is not covered in a normal drama. And I think that Waterloo Road as a show changed that when it first premiered and is still changing it now tackling as many important issues as it can muster um, I think that this was the first real solid episode of the season and one that I really really enjoyed um, the only thing that I kind of hope for is that Sean dumps Jez and starts dating the headmaster because clearly Jez has kind of an ego and a weird kind of complex it doesn't allow him to be genuine. I don't feel like he's a genuine character. And that's problematic for me. But I think that the characters, other than Jez, all work surprisingly well. For that reason, I've got to give this episode of Water the Road 4 out of 5 stars. It was really solid, and the pacing was extremely well uh, done. And I hope that next week... Uh, there are more challenges ahead for the students and teachers of Waterloo Road. I'll see you guys next time.